Uh, decommissioning security agreement is designed to ensure that funds are built up over the life of an asset so that enough cash is there when decommissioning commences to ensure that the full cost can be met. And I think private equity buyers, when they look at DSAs, their instinct is to try and seek the least onerous DSA possible because anything that they put aside uh, for security is ultimately going to bring down their financial returns. What I often tell them is, you're right, that is going to improve your financial returns, but when you come to sell this business, you're going to want to make sure that you're protected as, a, as an old owner. And the more robust that DSA is, the more protection you have. If there ends up being a shortfall in that fund, then a previous interest holder can be liable for that shortfall. So the previous interest holder would have to bear uh, the liability of the current operator. Um, now, uh, that means that there is a, a, an issue of overlapping liability. Disputes will be about the amount of security that has been provided, how uh, the calculations have been made with respect to that security, but also uh, with respect to the projections that have been made um, as regards the revenue that will be provided by the field um, and uh, the impact of earlier cessation of production dates. It is always better for the parties to that dispute to seek to resolve it by negotiation. The alternative is to refer the matter to expert determination. That is a process which exists outside of litigation in the courts or arbitration, but it is final and binding and cannot be appealed. So parties that refer a dispute to expert determination will be stuck with the outcome. It is always better to seek to negotiate uh, your position with your co-venturers or the other interest holders rather than refer the matter to expert determination.